of these protests that are happening all across the country. Mm. Demonstrators all around America demanding a $15 an hour minimum wage. Jamie Richardson is with us. He's vice president at White Castle. That is a, dare I say, a fast food chain. I think that's what you are. What do you make of 15 bucks an hour in your restaurants? Stuart, here's what we know, that the second there's a mandate to increase the minimum wage by 106% across the country or 67%, like the state of New York has already done, it's bad for the people it's designed to help. It's bad for those young people who never get the chance for that first job, that first opportunity. That's what we're committed to at White Castle is providing and being that employer of choice for young people across America so they can learn the skills they need to have the success they deserve. Well, it, it wipes out what I used to call entry-level jobs. You're 16, 17, 18, you don't have that many skills yet, so you walk into a fast food uh, operation and you earn minimum wage, you make what, seven, eight, nine, ten bucks a, 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 an hour, and away you go, you start from there. Fifteen dollars an hour wipes out that potential life uh, starting job. That, that's what happens. Well, and Stuart, what we know already is the unemployment rate for youth in the state of New York is 21%. That's just not unfortunate. That's unacceptable. And when you have radical policies designed by a few lawmakers who are trying to take us back to a command and control economy, we've got 100 years of history worldwide that says that doesn't work. So we're concerned about that. We're going to do everything we can to fight for our neighborhoods and fight for the people in those neighborhoods to provide more opportunity. Yeah, but what are you going to do? I mean, you're not going to... Yeah. Are you going to keep staffing levels here and pay all of those staff $15 an hour as an absolute minimum, or are you going to cut staffing levels and introduce technology to get around the problem? What are you going to do? We're with such a radical change to our business model, we're going to have to absolutely look at everything. We'll have to first look and see if we can raise prices and how high, uh, what's acceptable to customers, because they have other choices. The other thing we'll have to do is rethink how much we invest in our, in our wages. 30% uh, of every dollar we get in sales goes to pay our team members. If you crank that up 67%, there's no room. Keep in mind, we make 1% to 2% a year in net profit, so there's not much room. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. For every dollar spent at a White Castle, the absolute net net bottom line profit is one or two cents. That's it? That's correct. And, you know, we've been a family business for 95 years. We invest those funds that we do make back in the business to grow our neighborhoods and communities. But that's the, the rest of the story that the protesters need to know and hear because my thought is if they had the chance to know the rest of the story, they'd know there was less to protest because the jobs we're providing give people a path to a better life and more prosperity. All right, Jamie Richardson, White Castle guy, thanks so much for joining us this morning. Much obliged. Crave to you. on. Thank Crave you. on, Stuart. <laughs> okay. mm -hmm. Crave on. Is that, is that yeah, the that's uh, their, their that, motto? That's their your slogan. Motto. Your slogan? Crave on. Really? Yeah. Crave on? I can't think. It is. No, we cut the it mic. is. I promise it is. I know for Crave sure. On.